society wants you to look like this and not like this which of them is you does that make you feel comfortable are you confident in yourself do you have a low self-esteem when you walk into a room are you that guy who wants to like be known or be noticed or you just do it for the public sympathy or public appearance if in case you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share this is hey crispin and today we're going to be talking about male body image don't go anywhere crispin got you covered i'll be right back Welcome back to my channel. This is Crispin360. This is me, myself, and I. And this is where we talk about interesting topics or we discuss about the trending hits that is going on around the world and all that. So here, look, in today's topic, before I jump into today's topic, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and tell your friends and family to share and like, okay? Because I've been uploading interesting and educative topics every weekend. So what are you waiting for? Please, if you haven't, look to your left and just click on the subscribe button okay all right let's jump into today's topic so today's topic is about about men body image now before i start this video let me just say something okay a lot of girls think that we guys when we meet we don't talk about ourselves you know you girl you girls like to talk about your shoes your bags the guys are dating and all that trust me wait. guys when we meet we are more than you people like trust like we talk about literally everything the perfumes you like to wear the latest shoes the latest shirts you know like the latest outings and all that like what you you girls do we do the opposite, you understand? Because everybody wants to look good in this 21st century. Like, nobody wants to be, like, looked down or upon, you understand? So everyone wants to be on that, that level, okay? And because of all these things, people... You see how you ladies go to um, doctors for this, I mean, body enhancement, plastic surgery and all that. Well, guess what? Guys also do that these days. Yeah, I know a lot of guys who do liposuction and all that, just to have six packs and all that. And where is all this thing coming from? I could say it's from the media, from society... And from, I mean, the whole around the world, everybody wants to be that perfect image. Why do you think even guys use filters on their pictures? Sometimes I do too. I use filters on pictures sometimes. Not because I don't believe in myself. No, that's not the truth. I mean, the reason why we do this because sometimes we're trying to get, get a little bit lighter on this Instagram or on, I mean, our social media pictures. I mean, hey, everybody wants to look good on social media. Look, if you come to my house and you see me, you wouldn't believe that that's the crispy you see on the, on Facebook and my Instagram. I look so differently, but I only do this just to enhance my pictures. But naturally, that's not who I am. You understand? This is all part of life. It's enhancing. You're just trying to beautify your pictures, okay? I mean, whatever, whoever you are, being white, black, Chinese, Indian, that is who you are. That is where you come from. You can't even change that fact. Now, male body confidence. Now, here's the thing, okay? In the society we live in today, you know, everybody, or I would say everybody expects a guy to be um, the alpha male. When I'm talking about alpha male, I'm talking about a guy with uh, sex bags, you know, kind of, you know, like a model kind of, you know, like a walking candle, you understand? And I, I tend to believe that it's not actually very helpful for a lot of people because not everybody wants to have sex bags and be uh, all that. I mean, it's good to work out. It's good to, I mean, take care of yourself, be healthy and eat healthy. Personally, I'm not a fan of uh, having the muscles and all that. Well, it's nice. I, if, if, if I get it, I like it, but it is not my priority, okay? I do work out. I go to gym and all that, you know? And in there's no way I can become a size 2 or size 3 because well, in my family, we are not that slim. We are not fat. We are just in between, you understand? So I'm more of a, in English, we say an average guy. I'm an average guy. I can be athletic or I can be, I mean, I can have six pack, but... To get to six parts, I have to really, really work, 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 and get there, you understand? Unlike some people, all they have is from the genes. They're already slim and all that. So, like, what you you women go through when it comes to, like, body images, men go through the same thing, you know? Sometimes you put on a shirt and you have a little bit of, you ladies have the fupa, guys. We also have our own, you know, struggles, you know? You want to have to flat tummy or, like, you know, just, like, the dress to fit all parts of the body, you understand? We go through also that. And... I tend to think that the media has made it so worse that um, everybody wants to look a certain way because that is how you are supposed to be and look and act, you know. And I think it's given us a lot of uh, competitions whereby, why do you think there's surgery these days? Why do you think people go for surgeries these days? This is the reason why people go for surgeries these days because everybody wants to look the best, you understand? Nobody, I even see people going for dieting and, you know, just to 
just to to, to to lose weight or maybe like to um what's the word i mean to look fit for their wedding dresses or on their wedding suits and all that it 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 is the norm of the day everybody wants to look good like nobody wants to give anybody any thing to talk about you understand you want to look perfect on your perfect day you understand and this is the thing i don't i don't understand we guys also go through all these things and sometimes it's very difficult because you meet people trolling people like body shaming bullying on the internet because you look very fat you look very thick you look very tall you look very short and it's very confused because it's like you can't please everybody in this life you understand pleasing people is not actually very easy because if you are tall they'll be like why are you tall you're supposed to be short and when you're short they'll be like why are you short you're supposed to be tall and you are in between you're like why are you in between you know like you cannot please today's people everybody wants to I mean they have it like everybody have a picture in their mind that's how they want you to look like and then again it all boils down to you are you that person that likes to be pushed over are you that person who likes to be controlled are you that person who likes to be a yes a yes guy or a yes girl you understand you have to always know who you are i'm very confident in myself and i mean i can throw in every shirt every dress and i'll look good that's me i know i know my body type and normally i don't go for something that would make me look very skinny for example, I don't wear skinny jeans. I wear skinny jeans when I lose. I tend to lose weight sometimes. Like I lose like two k, three kg. You know, like it's it always balances. And naturally, we for example, everybody's not the same. You know, we are not all the same people. You know, we all we all have body type. Like I said, sometimes it's from the genes. It's hereditary. In some families, they look very slim and very tall and like. Some families do, they are very petite or they are very short and average. So you can compete with some people, you understand? And it, it boils down to eating also. I mean, if you, you can eat very healthy, I can tell myself or I can tell you guys that to Crispin, I try to eat very healthy. I know, I know sometimes I don't, I mean, hey, I mean, shout out to my friends who knows me, you know, I try to eat healthy, okay? The problem might be that I drink, I drink a lot of alcohol because I love to drink wine. I don't drink beer, you understand? So normally i can't get fat in my face i can only get fat in my belly because that's what the problem is in my face if you look me i mean if you look right me into the camera right now i have a normal face i have a normal arms and all that the problem is my belly because it's 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 i'm not saying i can't have a six pack no and i'm not saying that uh, that's who i am no, no 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 i'm just saying that it sometimes it's difficult to lose the belly fat very very difficult so what i do is that i try to eat healthy again okay? even if i had i hardly eat because i'm a tea person i could drink tea the whole day and i'm cool you know i don't have a problem with that but of course i mean if you know where you come from or you know the kind of family you come from you understand so you always have to know that okay i come from this family and we have this kind of problem you know when it comes to body uh size and all that so or you have to control your um your diet and what you eat you understand so sometimes don't let your friends or family members or maybe colleagues or, I mean, put you into a system whereby you have to uh, be like a robot or like a model. You have to eat things you don't want to eat because you want to look a certain way. Now, if you do that, you go into depression and depression can actually kill. It actually kills a lot of people. You understand? So always know the kind of person you are and what you're supposed to eat. The body image you're talking about is very, very important because it's... Um, it's 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 one of the most arising or alarming topics that is going on these days because everybody wants to look a certain way like i tell you i have friends who go for liposanctions and all that because it's the norm of the day because there's even now a surgery for six packs people are doing it for six packs and all that because and men are going it for that because sometimes you go to the gym personally look for example i pay for the gym and i don't even go to the gym all the time it, it's not because i don't want to go to the gym because i have to work and all that so there's no time you understand and on the weekends that i want to go to the gym it becomes a little bit difficult unless you have like a gym partner who also wants to go with you and motivate you and all that i mean someone will be like if you're motivated you don't need any friend to go with you but sometimes trust me you need that friend that friend that will go with you to the gym it really really helps a lot so Sometimes it's difficult to, uh, to I mean, to conform or to 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 um to act or to be in the same line with society because that's not what we are all supposed to be like. Somebody has to be slim. Somebody has to be fat. There are people who can eat the whole house like literally. They can swallow the whole house. They'll still be like this. There are people that will just take like a, a half plate of rice or banku and it, and then they'll be like, you understand? So not everybody can be like this. Some people have to be like this. You understand so please let's just i mean normalize and just ignore and stop making those bad comments like oh you look very fat oh you look very chubby you look very this and that you know when you do that naturally or physically you put a strain or you 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 like you dampen the person's spirit like you're trying to body shame sometimes it's not coming from a bad place but the fact that or the mere fact that you open your mouth to talk about it to a friend 
it's actually very uh very uh condescending and very very hurtful and a lot of people i mean fall into depression like i said earlier on so please let's just normalize our mouth and know when to say or how to say or who to say it to because it really really helps a lot what i do is that i try to put in more protein and veg veggies into my meal because in africa where we come from you know we eat, we eat a lot of starch and trust me you can run away from rice you know rice is the main factor in african homes you know i mean if you're from africa you know what i'm talking about rice is the main factor a lot of us like to eat rice and all that so body image whatever you're going through a lot of people are going through it wear what you like and eat what you like and wear i mean of course don't eat what you like of course eat healthy stuff because sometimes once in a while you can cheat yourself out like kfc burger cake you know like the fast food you know it's but it's good but that shouldn't become your like your daily routine every day no no that's not how it's supposed to be and i go to gym but what i do in gym a lot is that i do cardio you know i do a lot of cardio because i i find it easy to do cardio i don't do weight lifting because i don't know which machines to start with anytime i have friends in ghana in belgium that i always oh, like i always write to them hey, listen i want to start weight lifting what do i have to do which machines do i have to do they already tell me what to do i go to the gym and then i forget you know because i don't have anybody that's teaching me and you know when you go to the gym sometimes everybody feels a little bit um too known you know like i think they know too much so when they see you doing something that's not right it, you know it's you feel a little bit like oh my god why am i like you don't even fit in because you don't even know what you do but with the cardio i mean hey just step on the machine press it and just do what you're doing you know like just go with the flow you understand however um the body image i'm talking about with meals is that when it comes to suits and uh, fashion and all that it's also very very important you can understand um don't just wear anything and be confident in yourself i am very confident in myself and I, when i enter into a shop or a boutique to buy clothes i know what fits me i know what color i look good in and i know what will not fit me so i won't even jump into the the opposite side of things that will not make me look good you know and when i wear my stuff i don't really need anybody to tell me how i look good because myself i know how i feel and how i look you know it's you should know all these things so the image thing it's it's how you pose in your shirt and how you wear i don't mind buying from primark uh beshka h m zara you know it like climbing the mangoes and all that you know it's it's how you wear it i don't believe in brands i mean if you have brands it's very good but it's not always about brands so it's how you look and what you can afford i mean you can still buy something from the thrift shop and you can still look very good you understand i can wear something and if i don't tell you why but you might think oh this is so expensive but i know where i bought my stuff from you understand so it is not always about you um even guys also do pedicure and manicure yeah guys we do pedicure and manicure a lot of you girls think that we guys when we meet we don't talk about stuff we, we talk we gossip actually guys we gossip you know we gossip about who is dating who and who we thought they were dating and who this person is and who you know that's a guy's thing we talk about these things sometimes but our own is not more like a bitchy stuff we talk about very masculine stuff and we like we don't fight like we of course we guys we do fight also we bicker sometimes i mean we don't fight we actually banter you know like we don't fight you know? like like you girls you always have the cat fight you know guys don't do that but we always talk about the latest shoes in town the latest sneakers what is trending on you know fashion over shane you know, so, you know we do all those things like what you girls do of course so we are also struggling with body images you understand but why am i saying all these things like be who you are wear what you want to wear drink what you want to drink and then eat what you want to eat but of course healthy food that's very, very important i always emphasize on that now, hey listen the world doesn't revolve around you, you understand wear what you have and then show what you have you don't have to be in a competition with anybody if you think you are fat or slim or what check into your doctor and see what's the problem with you, you understand? because we all cannot be in the same ship listen we all cannot be in the same ship there are people that cannot be in the same ship with everybody because our bodies are not made in the same way some people are slim some people are fat some people are short some people are tall we can't be in the same way i don't think there's any machine that can stretch you to make you taller i don't think so so you know be who you are and then be happy you understand all right this is the end of my vlog for today and i hope i've encouraged somebody or motivated somebody don't go for those plastic surgeries and all those things just to look good for society do what makes you happy and i hope at the end of the day we all will have uh, a cross to carry you understand this is who you are you can change so i love you guys and if in case you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please subscribe and like and share to your friends and family until the next episode of christmas 360 christmas says Bye.